Hello students, let us learn general science for class 8 from the book Science Square. Combustion and Clay In this chapter, we shall discuss about combustible and non-combustible substances, controlling of fire, different types of combustion, flame and its structure, fuel and its efficiency, and about harmful effects of burning fuels. Let us learn the meaning of combustion. We use different kinds of fuel for various purposes at home, in industry and for running automobiles. These fuels are cow dung, wood, coal, charcoal, petrol, diesel, compressed natural gas that is CNG. Combustion is a chemical reaction in which heat is released by a material when it reacts with oxygen. The process of burning is known as combustion. Types of combust substances. As discussed earlier, there are two types of substances, combustible substances and non-combustible substances. Combustible substances are that any material that undergoes combustion. It is also called as fuel. It includes petroleum, diesel, etc. The fuels formed may be solid, liquid or in gaseous state. Sometimes light is also given off during combustion either as a glow or as a flame. Inflammable substances that is non-combustible substances. Those materials which have low ignition temperature and catches fire easily are termed as inflammable substances. Example petrol, LPG etc. So types of substances include combustible substance and inflammable substances. Combustible substances are fuels. Ignition temperature. What is meaning of ignition temperature? It is a minimum temperature at which any material begins to catch fire. If the temperature of the combustible substance is lower than the ignition temperature, then the substance will not burn. Let us see an example. Cooking oil catching fire when a frying pan is kept for long on a burning stove. So, here the ignition temperature of the oil takes place after some time when a frying pan is kept for long on a burning stove. Next, kerosene oil and wood do not catch fire on their own at the room temperature. But, if kerosene oil is heated a little, then it begins to catch fire. But, Wood will not catch fire even it is heated a little. Match sticks. Long ago, Egyptians used small pieces of fine wood dipped in sulfur as matches, which were very much safer. Modern match sticks are made up of mixtures of antimony trisulfide and potassium chlorate with some glue and starch applied on the head of the match. The rubbing surface has powdered glass and some red phosphorus. When the match is striked against rough surface, red phosphorus gets converted into white phosphorus and reacts with potassium chloride to ignite antimony trisulfate. And hence, combustion takes place. Things necessary for combustion to take place. Fuel or combustible substance. Air, which is in presence of oxygen. Temperature above ignition temperature. Things necessary for combustion to take place. That is we can say conditions which are required for combustion to take place. We need a good fuel. We need air. 
we need the temperature above the ignition temperature. What are the measures to control fire? Fire brigade station. In case of fire, fire brigades will extinguish the fire by sprinkling the water on the affected areas. The water will bring down the temperature below its ignition temperature. As a result, fire will stop spreading. Water vapors also surround the combustible material. This cuts off the supply of air. So, the fire is extinguished. Measures to control a fire. Now, we are going to see forest fires. In summer season, when the temperature rises too high, what happens? The regions which have dry grasses will catch the fire. This fire spreads rapidly from grasses to trees. This forest fires are very difficult to manage. Use of blankets. If a person catches the fire, then we would use blankets to extinguish the fire. What are the measures to control a fire? Next is the fire extinguisher. In case fire is caught on the electrical things, then what would we do? We know that water is a good conductor of electricity and hence it will destroy the equipment. So we cannot use water. So what we do we use? We use the carbon dioxide, which is the best extinguisher. This extinguisher cut off the air supply and brings down the temperature below the ignition temperature. And so fire gets extinguished. So we can take carbon dioxide is the best extinguisher. What are the different types of combustion? Rapid combustion. In this type of combustion, the substances burns rapidly and gives light and heat. For example, bringing a burning matchstick a gas lighter near a gas stove burns faster. Spontaneous combustion. In this type of combustion, substances burst out into flames suddenly without any known reason. For example, forest fires. These are spontaneous. The third one is a explosion. In this type of combustion, a sudden reaction results into heat, light and sound with an enormous amount of gases. When a fire cracker is ignited, a sudden reaction takes place with the evolution of heat, light and sound with large amount of gas. This is known as explosion combustion. Flame. When something burns, we can see a hot luminous gas emerging out of the substance. This gas is known as flame. Flames are result of the substances which vaporizes on burning. We can see the flame. It is a hot luminous gas. It is emerging out of the substance that is from the candle. It includes kerosene oil, wax, etc., which form flames on burning. What is the structure of a flame? When we observe a flame, we can see different layers of flame. As outermost zone, it is blue in color and it is the hottest among all the zones. In this zone, complete combustion takes place. Middle zone, it is yellow in color and is somewhat hotter. In this portion, partial combustion takes place. The last is the innermost zone. It is black in color and we can say it is the coolest among all zones because unburnt wax vapors present in that. In the middle zone, partially burnt wax are there so it would be somewhat hotter. 
but the outermost is a blue in color is said to be hottest fuel and its characteristics the substance that undergoes combustion is called as fuel it includes wood charcoal petrol kerosene etc characteristics of good fuel it should easily be available it should be cheap it should generate large amount of heat it should not leave any unwanted matter after combustion we can say it should not leave any residues ideal fuel and fuel efficiency ideal fuel is nothing but it's a best fuel the fuel which satisfy all the characteristics of good fuel is known as an ideal fuel but do you have any fuel like that no there is as such no ideal fuel present fuel efficiency the quantity of heat produced on due to combustion of 1 kg of a fuel we'll call it as a calorific value the unit of calorific value is kilojoules per kilogram calorific value of fuels these are calorific value of few fuels to make us understand the best or better fuel than the other when the calorific value is higher it will be more best fuel if calorific value is higher it is the best fuel so this table column helps us for identifying the better fuel harmful effects of the fuels combustion of most of the fuels releases carbon dioxide in the environment so increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air causes global warming incomplete combustion of these fuels gives carbon monoxide gas which is poisonous and dangerous it is dangerous to burn the coal in a closed room because the carbon monoxide produced can kill a person sleeping in the room this is a diagrammatic picture of showing global warming due to the increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere carbon fuels like wood coal petroleum release unburnt carbon particles these particles are dangerous pollutants causing respiratory disease such as asthma due to the burning of coal and diesel the chemicals like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide are released into the air the pollutants react with the water vapor present in the air to form sulfuric and nitric acid when it rains these acids are also present and we call the rain as a acid rain this acid rain is very harmful for crops buildings and also soil the picture show acid rain gases released by the industries sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide carbon dioxide it is carried by the winds gases combines with water droplets to form acid rain acid rain destroys plants pollutes the water resources nearby pollution pollute the soil and erodes the building prevention from acid rain the use of diesel and petrol as fuels in automobiles is being replaced by cng that is compressed natural gas because cng produces the harmful products in very small amounts cng is a cleaner fuel let us have a chapter recap the substances which burn in air are called combustible during the process of combustion heat and light are given out 
ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which a combustible substance catches fire. Inflammable substances have very low ignition temperature. Fire can be controlled by removing one or more nuclear requirements essential for producing fire. There are various types of combustion as such rapid, spontaneous and explosion. There are three different zones of a flame. Dark zone, luminous zone and non-luminous zone. Fuel e efficiency is expressed in terms of its calorific value that is its unit is kilojoules per kg. This ends the chapter.